Hi YouTube. So while the track plates are printing, I was thinking we could uh, paint the chassis uh, and maybe even assemble the, the cabin and we could paint that as well. So let's get to it. So in order to paint this thing, I think I should take off the wheels. Uh, these smaller rollers, they can just stay. But uh, the sprockets and the big idle wheels, I think I'll take them off. Okay, so I removed the wheels and I think I'll just go and paint this right now. So while the paint is setting on the undercarriage, I will prepare the cabin parts and then we shall paint them too. So here's the interior that I made. Now I keep this chair uh, separated from the other models because then I can adjust where to put the chair depending on what kind of uh, uh, figure or doll I'm using in here. <laughs> so I'm just going to clamp it in place. We can adjust it when we put in the driver. So, here's the a simple interior. So here's all the cabin parts. Uh, I'm going to paint them now before I install the windows. I have to cut the windows from transparent plastic. So we will do that soon. I'm just going to paint these first. So the first batch of track plates uh, have been finished, uh, this is 40 of them. Remember I, I need 90 so I'm gonna start the printers again and we will hopefully have all the track plates by tomorrow. The undercarriage has been painted. The paint job is a little sloppy but hey whatever yeah. <laughs> this thing is going out in the dirt and sand and mud so let's paint the roof yellow now I'm not sure if this is the correct yellow color I just bought something that I found so at least at least it will be yellow <laughs> so here's the cabin parts uh, painted I'm going to create some windows and fix them onto the parts now. I use my soldering iron to fix the windows onto the parts.
So that's all the windows. You probably noticed that I printed the door by itself. So the plan was putting on some hinges so I can open the door. So I'm going to try to mount the door onto this piece now and also have the door functioning. So after fiddling around for <laughs> quite a while, I was able to create the door. Uh, now I broke this hinge about five times while trying, so it's not perfect, but it will do the job. So now we have the interior and the lights and also the windows. I'm going to glue the side to the cabin now. Uh, so it should be something like this. So the side has been glued onto the cabin, uh, 
Now I'm only missing the roof. Let me just go grab that real quick. I have a little bad news. Uh, actually, the yellow color that I that I bought was a little too bright. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue using this or not. Let's let's, let's check it onto the cabin. You know what? Uh, I live so far away from a hardware store, uh, especially those who sell colors for uh, uh, mining or construction equipment. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and use these colors uh, and hopefully it will look good enough. Now I'm going to glue this roof onto the cabin. Now I'm just going to give it a little tap, there we go. I almost forgot, uh, there's a sunscreen and also a window wiper, so, so let's mount them. So the cabin for the Volvo excavator is now finished. So that's it for today. Uh, we painted the cabin, we assembled the cabin and we painted the undercarriage. So hopefully the printers will work uh, fast and get the track plates ready by tomorrow so I can fin continue and finish the entire undercarriage. So the overcarriage is laying here in parts. I will start building that soon. See you next time. Bye-bye.